Hey everyone, it's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen. How are you doing today? So as you come in, please make sure you say hello. In the bottom left-hand corner of your mobile devices is a share button. I would love it if you would share. If you are catching the live, there will be a red box in the upper left-hand corner. Or Yeah, I think, well, it's my left anyway. Upper left-hand corner. And if you're catching the replay, that's totally cool too. I just thank you so much for watching. So, hey guys, welcome. I know it's Tuesday afternoon. And um, I'm actually off work for the next two days, which is good because I really have a bad sore throat and it's kind of been crazy. But I am so excited to be here with you today. You guys, I know you've seen me posting. I know there's a lot going on, but Chaka Tour released our amazing new spring summer catalog. Hey, Sandy, welcome. We released our new catalog yesterday, you guys, and it has been so, so amazing. So I hope you had a chance to check that out. If you have not, I will put my website up here for you so you can run on over there and check it out. But for those of you that are new, because we have a lot more new followers on the page. So first off, I want to welcome you. I'm Jen. But let me tell you a little bit about what this is. So this is a company called Chocotour. We are a revolutionary concept and high-end DIY home decor and crafting that you're not going to find anywhere else. And this is a home-based business, you guys. We offer a line of silkscreen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology chalk paste in 38 colors. We have lots of new colors. We also have a line of couture inks. We offer several different surfaces through the company. So we have chalkboards, we have box wood frame, we have canvas pillowcases, totes, and banners. But you can use our products on so many surfaces. Dry erase board, glass, tin, wood. Again, the list can go on and on. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you truly from my heart is an innovative ground floor DIY home decor company for just $99. And you guys, it has been amazing. Let me just share with you, see this really awesome kit? That kit is just $99. It's $240 worth of product for $99 to get started. And I would love to share this with you. Our team is amazing. You guys, we have great training. We have great support. The company offers huge incentives. Who wants to go to Punta Cana? I know I do. That's our incentive trip coming up for next year. So if you're interested in learning more about that, please let me know. You can comment info below and I'll definitely reach out to you. But also, you know, if you like what you see, like if I'm doing this today and you think this is like the coolest thing you've ever seen, reach out to me. I do have a private VIP group where I post really cool things in there, um, pr uh, promotions and things that we're offering through the company. And I'd love to add you to that. Again, as long as you are not a designer, I would be happy to add you. So today, you guys, is just a simple, fun, easy project that anyone can do. And I thought this would be really, really nice. Like this would make a really great workshop. So for me, I do a lot of local workshops where we get together with friends, everybody creates their design and goes home with a finished product. Super fun, super easy. Now, like I had mentioned to you, um, all of our transfers are reusable. So right on the back of all of our transfers, it tells you how to peel, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store. Because you guys, you can get anywhere from eight to 15 uses out of one of these transfers. So again, you can create beautiful designs over and over again. So let me get this opened up. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> and I apologize, you guys, if I take a sip of water throughout this program. Like I said, I've been dealing with a sore throat now. This was day two, and it's just been really kind of crazy. Okay, so now, as you can see, there are two pieces to this. Hey, Melody, thanks for watching. So do you see this line right here? That's an actual cut line that the company put on this transfer so that you know where to cut. Again, they make this easy proof that anybody can do it. Like if there was like a book that was, you know what, um, Chalking for Dummies 101, that's what this is. They, they give you the directions and instructions on how to do this. Super simple, super easy, and I'm telling you, absolutely anyone can do this. I need some music for us in the background. Hey Donna, thanks for popping on and watching. All right, so now what I wanna do is I want to make sure I write on the back, and I'm just writing the word back, 
on the, of these carrier sheets. Because again, we're gonna clean these up when we're done and I'm gonna put them back on here so I can use it again at a later time. All right, so I'm gonna set this one off to the side for a minute because I'm actually gonna do this up top. So this would be really, really cute for like a birthday party for the girls. Or you know what else you can do? Well, I'll show you that at the end, what we're gonna do. So this is actually one of our chalkboard surfaces that we offer at Chalkator. This is a 10, let me get that off the screen there. This is a 10 by 10 surface. What's really nice is not only can you chalk on one side, but you can chalk on the other side. So very versatile, you could switch it up for each and every season, which is really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, because I know, as you can see, it doesn't fit the board. So I'm gonna kinda do a little bit of a, we're gonna play around with this. So when you um, get your transfers and you need to remove it from the carrier sheet, I always tell people, please don't pick at your corners, rub your finger right over the edge to get it started, okay? You're gonna flip it over, and I like to remove my carrier sheets from the transfer, okay? Now this is a brand new transfer, so it's definitely sticky. And I actually don't have a towel near me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something called fuzzing it up. And I know this you're not going to be able to see me what I do unless you see me up in that corner. I'm actually going to take this, and I do this a lot at my workshops, and I'm just going to stick it on my t-shirt. I don't know if you can see me up there in the corner. <laughs> I'm just going to stick that right on my t-shirt. And it's just to kind of get a little bit of fuzz on the back of it so it's not as sticky because again it's brand new and they're really really sticky so I'm gonna set this off to the side here I'm gonna try to get it as close to the edge as I can and then I'm gonna smooth this out so there's no air bubbles in this transfer but what I'm doing so I'm only doing a little part here I'm gonna pick up my transfer and move it over because I want this confetti to go all the way across the board so you'll see what I mean here in a second so this, again, all in here, this is all silk screen. So I just want to make sure there are no air bubbles in that silk screen. Now, I'm going to be using one of our new paste. I don't know. I'm actually going to go with, I don't know which one I want to go with. So this one is called our Shimmering Gold. And you guys, I can't even begin to tell you the company for this season lost, uh, launched chalk paste that has like a glitter to it. So we have silver, we have gold, and we have a copper. So hello, who doesn't love glitter? And this one here was actually an exclusive color that the company um, launched for just designers only. So all I'm doing now is stirring this up so that there are no, like, I'm just trying to blend all the pigments right here. Our chalk paste is water soluble and semi-permanent. So it goes on as like the liquid and it dries as the solid. And I don't, I don't know what color I want to use. I don't know if I want to use this one or if I want to use the gold. Ugh. That's the hardest part, you guys, picking your colors. And that's what I tell people at my workshop. The hardest part of this is picking what colors you want to use. So I think I'm... I think I'm just gonna stick with the gold, you guys. As much as I love this one, I'm gonna stick with the gold. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side. So like I said, this should be like a yogurt sour cream consistency. And if for any reason it isn't, you'll just add a little bit of water, just regular tap water. You just spray it right in there if you needed to. And I'll probably need this for my other ones. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna get your squeegee. And we sell all different types of squeegees. So we have a multi-purpose tool. We have regular squeegees. We have the big boy that I like to call it. And then we also have an angled squeegee. So it kind of just depends on what you want to use. Obviously, this is a smaller surface area. So I'm just going to stick with one of my smaller squeegees. So I'm just going to dip this right in my chalk paste. And then I'm going to pull it across this silk screen area. Now, there is no rhyme or reason to how you do this. You're just making sure you pull it across that silk screen and then scrape off any excess and put it back in the jar, okay? So I'm gonna set that down here because what I need to do is I need to peel this up. Oh gosh, that I like that color already. And then I need to set it off to this side. 
I just want to make sure I get this right. And if not, we can fix it. So I'm going to set this off to this side. And then I'm going to do this. I really like the gold. I love the, the like the shimmer to it. I wish you guys, I hope you can see it. Hopefully by the time we're done, I'll be able to put it closer for you to see it a little bit better. All right, so scraping off my excess. Hey, happy Tuesday, Tanya. Welcome. All right, so now what I wanna do, oops, let me grab my hair dryer. I need to make sure this is dry before I do the next part. And the reason I have to do that is because I'm gonna be laying my transfer kind of like back over the areas that I have just done. Oops. So I need to make sure this is dry because I don't wanna peel up my top paste. Be really cute like on a table in an entryway too or even on your front door you can absolutely do it there all right so then I'm gonna stick this back down I think we're dry yeah it seems to be okay I'm gonna stick this back down here my dog's upstairs snoring that's funny just like this and again, I'm just going to smooth this out so that there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. Okay? Easy peasy. Get the rest of my chalk paste. And then I'm going to go right over this. I'm kind of be going to be careful there. And you can see where you've done it before underneath your transfer. Hey, Betty, welcome. If you guys have any questions as we're going along here, please feel free to ask them. As I see them come in, I will definitely answer you. And like I said, if you haven't had a chance to check it out online, please be sure you check out our new catalog that just launched. You guys, it's amazing. It is so amazing. DIY home decor for the halls and walls of your home. And I just love this product. I've been doing this for... A little over a year and it has truly been a life-changing experience for me and my family and I would absolutely love to share that with you all right so let's peel this up and you always want to peel left to right or top to bottom oh yeah love it all right check that out look how pretty and I'm just throwing that in a little tub of water if you let it dry on its own, honestly, it only takes a few, a few minutes, April. I just use the hair dryer just for time, pro, um, for the time being when we're doing a live, but it truly does not take long. So I just wanted to show you, I have my transfer right in this little tub of water, nothing fancy. And then I'll wipe that off with a Clorox wipe to clean it when I'm done and let it air dry. So yeah, this would only take a few minutes to dry. I just use a hair dryer because it just, it, it speeds up especially when you're doing a live video. So that's all. So just blowing this dry. All right, I just wanna clean this off. We have the really cool star sticks now available through us as well which is so awesome. We asked about those and they brought it to us for the new catalog. Super cool. So then this is gonna go right in here. All right, so again, just gonna take my finger, rub it over the edge to get this started. I'm gonna flip that over and remove my transfer. I'm gonna fuzz it up on my t-shirt because I don't have a towel. And remember guys, if you absolutely love what you see, Please make sure you share this video. In the bottom left-hand corner of your mobile devices is that amazing share button. The greatest compliment you can give me is a share. And if you do think this is the coolest thing you've ever seen and you want to know more about doing this as a business and be a designer like me, please let me know. I would love to help you with this. So I'm just going to put this right in here. 
think that looks good. Again, smoothing this out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. All this other green, I'm not so much worried about. It's just only where that silk screen is. Okay, I'll get that off the screen so you can see. So I'm going to go with a white. And then this is an old color, so I'm not even going to tell you what this is. I'm only using this color because I'm going to be adding some ribbon to my design. So that's why I'm using this color because it kind of matches my ribbon. So I'm just stirring my chalk paste again. So I want it to be like that yogurt sour cream consistency. That one looks pretty good. And then this is my white. Oh, this isn't bad. I don't have to add any water to my chalk paste today. Now that's a first. So, all right, let's get this going here. Everything looks good. And I'm actually going to use my multi-purpose tool. Melody, I will absolutely send you some information as soon as we get off this live video. Thanks so much for requesting it. Can't wait to share. All right, so I'm going to do the words throw in around in the white. And then I'm going to do the kindness in confetti in my blue color. Okay, so I'm just going to take my multi-purpose tool. Go right over that. Okay, scrape off any excess. Oop, I kind of made a mess on that. No big deal. And then I'm going to take another squeegee, dip it in my blue, and pull it right over the words. Wait till you see how awesome words turn out. Like, that's always my favorite. I love looking at the words after you do them and seeing the crispness. Crisp? Is that even a word? Crispness? Sounds like I'm saying Christmas of the lines. So I'm just scraping off any excess because you don't need a lot of chalk paste. And anything that you have extra, you just put it right back in your jar. And I don't want any lines in my words. And you guys, when you are doing this, again, you're applying pressure. This isn't painting. You're applying the pressure to make sure you're getting it through that silk screen. Okay? Are you ready? Peel and reveal. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can't see it. I can, but you can't. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hey, Trudy, welcome. Look how awesome that turned out. Isn't that awesome? Look at the lettering. This is like, I, every time I get so excited when I peel off a transfer or one of my customers peels off their transfers and sees this amazing design. What do you guys think? And I love the color combination. My glitter's got a little bit of sheen to it. I love the white and the blue on the board. Oh yeah, I'm happy. So just drying this up really quick. So you guys, this board does, hey Claudia, how are you? This board does come with a piece of twine that you could obviously put in the top if you wanted to. I thought it would be really cute if like we got a ribbon. This actually isn't the ribbon I was looking for now that I said that, but that's okay. So we're gonna take the ribbon And I'm going to just pull it through those holes, right? And then if you wanted to like tie, I'm, I'm just going to do this super, super quick. Oh, thank you guys so much. Ugh, I can't tie a ribbon right now. I'm just making a hot mess of this right now. But like you could tie a ribbon on the top and you could cut this off. And then if you wanted to, you could like, yeah, that's too big could do something like this. You know what I would do? I would probably make a ribbon. How about we go this way? Let's fix this because it's going to bug me until I fix it because I don't want you guys to see something not pretty. Go like this. 
All right, so I'm going to take this through the opposite way. I have the vision in my head. I just need to like sit here and do it. Okay. So we're going to have this. I'm going to turn this upside down. I think I'm just going to tie this like this. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this off. Now, again, if I wanted to hang this, I could absolutely hang it. Okay. And then I'm going to take a, the other piece of the ribbon and I'm just going to go like that. So I'm going to make kind of like, um, one of the awareness ribbons. Okay. So I just took it and I looped it like that. I'll take this and pull it down. Something like that. And then I'll play with this. I'm going to get a piece of string. Maybe if you're a bow maker and you know how to do this a better way, you could absolutely make a cute, pretty bow. But for time, I'm just going to do this really quick and make this cute little bow. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Do something like that where you could just totally put that right on there. And you have... Let me just cut this. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, I'm taking a little bit longer. So I'm just going to cut that. I get visions in my head, but that's okay. It works. Something like that. And then you could just totally set that on like an entryway when you're coming into your home. Now, obviously you would attach this to that. You could tie it or hot glue it, whatever you wanna do. But look how cute, you guys. Wouldn't that be a fun workshop with your friends? So if you guys have any other questions, I would love to answer those for you. If you absolutely love what you saw today and you're interested in being a customer or you're interested in being a designer like my, myself, please let me know, comment below or reach out to me right through my Facebook page. And you guys, I hope you love this design and stay tuned because I will be coming back again tomorrow to do another live for you. And uh, I will be talking with you soon. Have a great day.